which you have seen is a really a next generation of surgical robotic system uh, that functions in an intelligent way, in a supervised autonomous way. And we happen to choose a, a specific complex surgical task, task called anastomosis, which is putting together a two tubular ends together. This machine and Axel and our team have made it super smart uh, by incorporating best surgeon's techniques into it so that it determines how the, the surgical task can be accomplished without having surgeon's input. We can model what was, what was considered to be not possible, which is to model the soft tissue uh, for, a, for the task of uh, robotic surgery. The current uh, uh, robotic surgery is teleoperated, so every step of the robot, every movement of the robot is directed by the surgeon. And our innovation is really to make this autonomous, more autonomous, so that you don't have to direct every motion. We programmed in uh, what is the ideal spacing between sutures, what's the perfect tension for each suture, um, how many sutures should be there uh, placed, and then uh, you know the robot uh, uh, executes this uh, suturing plan. Probably the most surprising part was that when you actually compare that to current standards of practice, um, the machine does it better. If you are to throw in 20 stitches, it's not enough that a human being does 19 out of 20 well. You have to do all 20 of them well to have a sort of a good outcome, whereas this machine will consistently throw in 20 perfect sutures. For the purpose of what we published in the paper, it was about 60% fully autonomous and 40% supervised, as in we made some minor adjustment as the robot does it. But when you actually look at our results, that these are minor adjustments, very much like when you see your little baby starting to walk type of thing. So we're a little nervous about it to make sure that it does the right way. So uh, th these are sort of minor adjustments we made, but uh, it can be uh, fully autonomous for the, perp the task that we want to do. Just imagine having the best technology and technique that's available any place, any time for any surgeon, for any patient. Having these intelligent systems, if you will, and then working with surgeons uh, will ultimately uh, decrease complications and have better outcome and save lives.